My name is Kurt Davis with Real Estate Wealth Coaching and today I'm going to be revealing the six strategies that wholesalers use to find off-market properties. If you stay with me until the end of this video, you will learn several methods that you can use today as a wholesaler to locate great deals in your market. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for joining me today as I'm going to share with you six of the most popular and effective ways that wholesale investors are using to find off-market properties. Before I get started, I need you to click that subscribe button for me in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, the first strategy I want to talk about today is called driving for dollars. Now basically you are driving around neighborhoods and you are looking for distressed homes. Now, what do I mean by distressed? You know, so there's a combination of the following characteristics that I look for. Tall grass, bushes overgrown, the exterior is in poor condition, the roof looks bad, junky cars in a driveway or in the front yard, phone books are stacked up at the front door. You get the idea. Statistically, the person who owns this home might be more motivated to sell than a home in better condition. Now, you need to get in touch with the owner. You can send them a letter or a postcard, or you can skip trace the owner's phone number by using a source like the White Pages app on your smartphone. Other homes to keep a lookout for are homes that have either a for sale by owner sign or a for rent by owner sign in the front yard. Now you will want to contact the sellers to find out if they, you know, if they're interested or how motivated they are and especially how much they want for the home. Strategy number two uh, is putting out bandit signs. Now these are signs that you might have seen around your city usually in high traffic areas, on corners, or even up high on telephone poles. Now, they normally have a very simple tagline such as, we buy houses, fast cash offer with a phone number. Now, most wholesalers will order these signs from an online company. Bright colors usually work best so they stick out. You want people to notice them. Now, a bonus tip, if you decide to do bandit signs, when designing your sign, you want to fit three signs onto one side. You then have to cut the signs when you get them, but this is how you get three signs out of one, just like this. Now, you, you'll have to, you can put these up on telephone poles, they stick around longer, you want to use a staple hammer, things like that. Now a second bonus tip is the phone number that you put on the sign. Do not use your actual cell phone number. Use a number like a Google number or your some type of service where they give you dummy numbers just so that nobody can skip trace you. Strategy number three. Now this is what we refer to as renegade marketing. The first thing that you need to do is order a few thousand postcards just like this one-sided is fine and you're going to craft some type of slogan on them usually you know they have a header followed by a few taglines you know make your phone number larger bold uh, if you have a landing page for a website make sure you display that at the bottom but that's not required now once you have your cards you will want to target parking lots places like the mall walmart target home depot the grocery store anywhere where there are a lot of cars in the parking lot when you put them on the car, you put them on the driver's side door and just wedge them by the door handle and the window jam. Do not put them under the windshield wiper as a lot of people tend to not see these things. They end up just blowing off. Strategy number four. Okay, so direct mail. One of the most popular ways wholesalers use for finding off-market homes is using a direct mail campaign. Yellowletters.com is one of the most popular services out there today. You can send out pre-scripted letters or postcards to specific target groups. Now, some of the target groups are absentee owners, people who own their home free and clear, uh, high equity or specific zip code areas. You can go on their website to see their pricing sheet and obviously the more you order, the better pricing that you get. All right, the fifth strategy I'm going to talk about is cold calling. Now, not everyone likes doing this because some people do not like to talk on the phone. 
especially to strangers, or you know they have a fear of rejection, getting cussed out, scares them too much, things like that. Cold calling is the same as direct mail, except you're calling them and not sending them a postcard or a letter. Now, what you do is you use a service like listsource.com to purchase a list of homeowners based on the criteria that you're looking for. So say you want a list of a thousand absentee homeowners in a specific zip code. Now you will get a list that has the owner's contact info, the property address, and the target zip code along with a few possible phone numbers that may or may not work. Now you have to start calling these owners, which if you are calling them one at a time, it's going to take you a long time to do this. Some wholesalers will use virtual assistants or VAs as they call them and pay them hourly to do the cold calling for them. You give them a script for what you want them to say and the info to collect and they will do the work for you. Now, if you want to get real aggressive, you can use a service called Mojo Cells. They call it the Mojo Dialer. And this is a more of an advanced method because you are using an online service where you basically upload your skip trace list into the system and the system will start calling the numbers for you. It's meant to go through the list much, much faster to get faster results. You can even have your virtual assistants do this for you. Now there is an expense for all of this. You are paying now for the cold calling list the cost now to hire a virtual assistant and the cost for the Mojo program. Most wholesalers are not doing this until they have had some level of success with some lower cost methods that allow them to take on strategies just like this one, but it works. Now an alternate strategy to cold calling, uh, or you could do both strategies, you know, whatever you want to do. This one's called RVM, which stands for ringless voice message. Basically you use the skip trace list, you have and you use a service such as Sly Broadcast where you upload all the numbers into their program and it will call all of these numbers. And if they are cell numbers, it will drop them a voice message directly into their voice message system. Their phone's gonna ring one time and then it'll stop. And then a few seconds later, they will see that they have a voice message. And it's a pre-recorded message basically asking if they're interested in selling their house. Now, if no, if they are, they're gonna call the number back that you told them to call in the message, and it'll go directly to a voice message for them to leave for you. Now, the last strategy I want to talk about is text messaging or text message marketing. Text messages have the fastest and highest open rates out there. Again, you have a skip trace list, and you can use a service like Lead Sherpa to send text messages to your list. If they are interested, they can call or text back. It's really that simple. Now, I know I have thrown a ton of wholesale investment strategies at you, and you might be wondering which one should you go with? You need to determine what your budget is because if you start using these strategies where you are paying for lists and services, you will want to have enough of a budget so that you can do this for a minimum of three to four months to really let your marketing kick in. Now, if, you, if your budget is low, you might do some driving for dollars, or some bandit signs, even maybe a postcard, renegade marketing. Um, if you don't have that much time, but do have a little money, you might consider going with a direct marketing campaign using a source like yellowletters.com. I hope that you found this video highly informative. Now, let me know in the comments section below what was your favorite strategy out of these six? What was your biggest takeaway? I'm gonna be responding to the comments section below, so let me know what you think. Also, check out our other videos for more tips and strategies that you can use to help you move forward. Uh, thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.